What is going on, beautiful people, and welcome back to the Chargers franchise here on Madden NFL 21. We're live from Ampower Field at Mile High as the Chargers battle the Denver Broncos in their third divisional matchup of the season so far. The Chargers have won their first two matchups, the first one being against the Chiefs, and most recently, right before the bye against the Raiders. So they're 2-0 in the season inside the AFC West, but this is their first matchup against the Broncos. And we look at the standings and the Colts have finally lost, so the Chargers in first place in the AFC. So they'll look to keep it rolling against the Broncos who get the ball to start this game off and out comes Drew Locke. Not having a very good sophomore season so far. 12 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, over 2,000 yards however. And definitely still a force to be reckoned with with all the weapons he has offensively. Now first and 10. As the Broncos open up this game, here's the play fake by Locke. He'll throw it over the middle, and he's going to find Noah Fant, who gets up to the 39-yard line. So the Chargers open up the game with the first down. So now first and 10. Here's another play fake by Locke. He has all day to throw. He's just going to throw underneath. And Jake Butt going to be just short of the first down marker. That's going to make it second and inches. And here's the handoff to the former Charger, Melvin Gordon, who's going to pick up the first down up to the 45-yard line. And Denver now in Los Angeles territory. First and 10. Locke has time to throw. And he's taking a little too much time, and he's going to be brought down for the sack. Uchenna Nwosu gets to him. And that's going to lead to a third and 19 after a three-yard gain. And here's Locke going to throw underneath. Finds Jerry Judy, who's able to get right by Kenneth Murray. Murray just very overzealous on the play, and Judy picks up the first down for the Broncos. Now third and 10, Locke has time, throws right side, and a nice catch there by Judy. He'll get up to the 12-yard line. Now the Broncos inside the red zone. They're having a nice long drive here. But then on first and 10, he's going to be brought down for the sack by both safeties, Nazir Adderley and Derwin James. That's going to lead to a second and 22. Lock with a clean pocket, going to throw underneath to Gordon, and Gordon going to pick up a nice gain. Getting up to the four-yard line, that's going to make it a third and three. Broncos could still pick up the first down, but they're going right to the end zone. Touchdown Broncos as Jarius Wright makes the grab in the end zone, and the Broncos strike first is 7 nothing. So now out come the Chargers, and Justin Herbert looks to have a better second half of the season. He does have 23 touchdowns through nine games, but also 14 interceptions. So he's going to have to kind of tone down the interceptions here in the final seven games. And now second and seven, Herbert going to be brought down for the sack, and it's Vaughn Miller who looks to cause a lot of ruckus in this one. Now third and 15, and a beautiful grab by Keenan Allen. He's going to get up to the 39-yard line, and the Chargers somehow, someway convert for the first down. Now second and 12. Herbert under pressure, trying to get away, and he's brought down in the backfield. And that's the former Titan, Jarrell Casey, who gets to him. That's going to lead to a third and 19. Herbert has time. And he throws left side, and he just overthrows Taylor Gabriel. And it falls incomplete. The Broncos get the ball back with about three minutes to go in the first quarter. Here's Phillip Lindsay. He's going to get across the 25 up to the 27. Now second and three, double tight set for the Broncos. Here's the play fake by Locke. Throws to the flat, and there's Melvin Gordon again. He just stiff arms Drew Tranquil, and he's up to the 35-yard line, first down Broncos. Locke has all day to throw once again. Throws right side. He's going to find Cortland Sutton, and he's going to take a big hit right before the first down marker. Drew Tranquil just lays him out, so now it's going to be second and one. Hand off to Lindsey, and he's going to be brought down. At the line of scrimmage, that's going to lead to a third and one. Hand off to Lindsey again, and this time again, he is brought down at the line of scrimmage. So a big stand there by the Chargers defense. We go into the second quarter, Broncos up 7-0. Chargers inside their own 10 to begin the second quarter. Herbert on the play fake, throws over the middle, and he finds Keenan Allen. He's going to pick up a nice gain, but there's going to be a flag on the play, and it's going to be an eligible man downfield. It's going to be called on Brian Bulaga, but that was really Herbert's fault for not getting the ball out quick enough. So now third and 15, Herbert throws left side, and Allen just couldn't hold on to it. So the Chargers go three and out. Luckily, there's no safety, though. So now Denver with the ball at midfield, and here's the throw over the middle. 
And Jerry is right going to pick up the first down for Denver. First and 10 from the 40. Locke has all day to throw. And he's finally going to run out of time, and he's brought down for the sack. Linval Joseph gets to him as Locke just held the ball way too long. Now third and 21. Locke getting away. Just throws it a flat, and it's caught by Gordon, but he's out of bounds at the 47. So now Denver punts it away. So again, the Chargers with the football inside their own 10. Here's the pitch out to Austin Eckler, who's been pretty quiet so far in this game. But this time, he'll pick up about six. Now, third and four for the Chargers. Herbert out of the shotgun, going to roll to his right. And he just holds onto it way too long, and he's hit as he throws. Incomplete. And again, the Chargers go three and out. Just nothing clicking offensively for them. Now, third and ten. Herbert going to throw to the flat. And again, Gordon goes out of bounds well short of the first down. So neither of these offenses are really working very efficiently so far in the second quarter. Herbert going to throw it on first and 10, finds Hunter Henry, and he'll be just short of the first down marker. That's going to lead to a second and two. And Herbert just holds onto it way too long, and he's brought down by Gerald McCoy, the former Buccaneer. That's going to lead to a third and eight. Herbert going to roll to his left, throws on the run, finds Eckler, and he's going to pick up the first down up to the 35. You guys wanted to see Eckler in the passing game? Well, you got your wish. So now first and 10, and Spencer Ware is just planted in the backfield. I believe that was Bradley Chubb who brought him down. That's going to lead to a second and 12. Herbert looking down the field, throws left side, and he just yeeted that out of bounds into the stands that's going to lead to a third and 12 under four minutes to go herbert over the middle finds a wide open taylor gabriel and he's tackled just shy of midfield but it's another first down for the chargers now first and 10 under three minutes now to go ackler up the middle he'll pick up the first down up to the 37 yard line of denver and now the chargers in business as we hit the two minute warning second and six Herbert going to let it fly, and a beautiful grab by Hunter Henry between two defenders. And the Chargers have the ball now at the 13, second and 10. Herbert going to throw near the sideline, and a beautiful grab by Eckler, getting both feet in bounds, participating in the 10 toes down challenge. Now it's going to be third and two. Herbert to the end zone, finds Keenan Allen, touchdown Chargers. And we have ourselves a tie ball game at seven. Denver with the ball now, a minute 10 to go, second and 10. Locking a throw to the flat, and it's completed over to Noah Finn, who picks up a few yards. That's going to lead to a third and three. Here's Locke, going to let it fly, and it's tipped, and that probably could have been intercepted there, but it falls incomplete. We're going to head to halftime. We're tied at seven, and we'll be back with the second half right after this. So let's take a look at a few scores from around the country before we get to the second half. And the Cowboys up 14 to seven over the Vikings. Dak is perfect, eight for eight for 69 yards. Nice, and a touchdown. Down in Charlotte, North Carolina, the Panthers won 31 to 10 over the Lions. The Lions just not ready for Teddy time in this one. Bridgewater with three touchdowns. And in the Northwest, we have the Seahawks beat the Cardinals 28 to 24. Russell Wilson, 20 of 23 for 283 yards and two touchdowns. So now we're into the second half of our game. First and 10, Herbert under center. Quick throw left side finds Allen. He gets across the 30 up to the 33. Now third and one, Herbert gonna hand it off up the middle and Eckler gonna pick up the first down up to the 38. So now first and 10, Herbert out of the shotgun. He'll roll to his right and he's looking. He's probably just gonna run and he gets pushed out of bounds at about the 46 yard line. That leads to a second and two. Hand off to Eckler up the middle and he's brought down after no gain. That's gonna lead to a third and two. Herbert in the shotgun has time, throws to the flat and he finds Virgil Green who's able to pick up the first down up to the 49. And so the drive continues. Now third and nine, Herbert looking over the middle and he's gonna be intercepted. Just a poor decision there by Herbert and is picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos will take over from midfield. Now first and 10, here's the play fake by Locke. He's looking on the field, gets it away, and what a one-handed grab by Cortland Sutton, getting both feet in bounds as well. That was very impressive there. And it's the new set of downs, but now Melvin Gordon puts it on the turf, and it's picked up by Kenneth Murray, who forced the fumble. So now after the Justin Herbert fumble, the Chargers get the ball back, although we look at the replay, and it looks like Melvin Gordon's knee hits the ground. Of course, all turnovers are reviewed, 
And this one is going to be coming back, so the Broncos retain possession. Now second and six. Here's the throw left side. Broken tackle by Jerry is right, and he'll get up to about the 31. It's going to make it a third and three. Very manageable for the Broncos. Hand off to Gordon. He's going to pick up the first down and more, and he's up to about the 21. And the Broncos now knocking on the door midway through the third quarter. So now the fake sweep. Here's a handoff to Lindsey, and he'll pick up about seven on the play. That's going to lead to a third and three. Lock has time. Under pressure now, and he's going to be brought down for the sack. He had time at least, but Joey Bosa gets the sack, and that's going to lead to a fourth and 12. So now Braden McMahon is going to come out for the field goal. The kick is up and good, and the Broncos take the lead back. It's 10 to 7. So now the Chargers with the football, three minutes to go in the third quarter. Third and eight, Herbert with the play fake after the high snap, and he's going to throw it deep, and what a catch by Taylor Gabriel. A hell of a throw by Herbert as well. And now the Chargers inside the 25-yard line, first down. Herbert under pressure, and he's going to be brought down for the sack, just held onto it way too long, and that's Jarrell Casey with his second sack of the game. That's going to lead to a second and 21. Herbert going to throw left side, finds Hunter Henry. He won't quite pick up the first down, but he gets a hell of a game there. 20 yards on the play. That's going to lead to a third and one. Herbert, quick step, and he's going to run for the first down. Lucky not to fumble that. He has to slide, but he gets the first down regardless. Now, third and goal from the one-yard line. Herbert throws to the end zone, and he... I don't even know where he was throwing it. He was looking for Virgil Green, it looked like. But that'll end the third quarter. Broncos up 10-7. So the Chargers is going to kick a field goal here to open up the fourth quarter. Michael Badgley able to make the chip shot. So the Chargers tie the ball game up at 10, just playing it safe there. And Denver takes over from the 25. First and 10, Locke going to throw over the middle, and it's completed for a nice gain there up to the 33-yard line. So now second and two, quick throw out to the right side, and it's completed. And they're going to give him the first down off forward progress. So now first and 10, Locke. Quick throw left side, completed, and there's Jerry Judy again with the catch. He's been pretty quiet since the first quarter, but he comes up with a big play there for another first down. And now here's the throw underneath. Fan able to pick up a few yards, and now Graham Glasgow injured for the Broncos. That can't be good for them. Now second and eight. Here's a screen pass over to Gordon, and Gordon going to pick up the first down, running over a defender as he gets up to the 41. So now first and 10, lock on the play fake. And he's looking left side, completes it, and he's up to about the 31-yard line. First down for Noah Fant. Now first and 10, handoff to Lindsey. He breaks the tackle, and he'll pick up about five. So Denver just has to play it smart here now, second and five. Lock on the throw left side, and he completes it to Sutton, and he's going to get up to the 10-yard line. And the Broncos might be looking touchdown here, second and goal. Lock going to drop back. Throws left side, it's completed to Judy, and he runs into a whole army of chargers there. That's going to lead to a third and goal from the four. Locke has time, and he's taking a little too much time to find somebody and just throws it away. So the Broncos will settle for three, and it's another chip shot for McManus. Kick is up and good, and the Broncos with 6.22 to go in the game have a 13-10 lead over the chargers who just have not looked like themselves offensively in this game. But we'll have to see what happens as Herbert just throws it out of bounds on first and 10. Now, second and 10 over the middle to Gabriel. He'll pick up a few yards. That's going to lead to a third and three. Very manageable, but a critical third and three at this juncture. Hand off to Eckler up the middle. He'll pick up the first down, and he'll get up to about the 48-yard line. Good run there for Eckler. So now, first and 10, hand off to Eckler. He's going to cough up the football, but is picked up by Tevi. And the Chargers get a very lucky break there. Now second and seven, Herbert going to roll to his right, and he's going to throw last second, incomplete. He was looking for Keenan Allen. That's going to lead to a third and seven. 4.25 to go, Herbert in the shotgun. Throws over the middle, finds Taylor Gabriel, who's going to get across the 35, up to the 34. Bradley Chubb injured on the play for Denver. And now 4.19 to go in the game. Plenty of time for the Chargers. And what a throw over to Taylor Gabriel, who's going to get into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Chargers take the lead as he just burns Kareem Jackson on the play. The Chargers up 17 to 13 now. But did they leave too much time for Drew Locke? We'll have to see. Melvin Gordon runs over a defender, and he'll pick up a solid game there up to the 33. 
That'll be eight yards. Now, third and one, three minutes to go in the game. Hand off to Gordon, and he's going to run over the defender for the first down up to the 36-yard line. So now 2.23 to go, second and 10. Lock with a quick throw over the middle, finds Fant, and he's able to pick up the first down up to the 47. We hit the two-minute warning. The Broncos still have plenty of time to take the lead back on this drive. So now first and 10. Lock, quick throw over the middle, and Wright just couldn't hold on to it. It falls to the turf and complete. Now second and 10. Lock, one step drop, throws left side, and it's completed over to Cortland Sutton who gets up to the 45 that's going to lead to a third and two Locke has time and he's just going to throw it all the way down the field and it's intercepted Rayshon Jenkins comes up with a huge pick for the Chargers and just an awful decision there by Drew Locke now the Chargers have a chance to run the clock out here Eckler going to run for the first down and that is pretty much going to do it here as the Broncos don't have enough timeouts to stop the Chargers, and the Chargers survived Denver 17-13, and this was the epitome of a defensive struggle. Justin Herbert goes 19-32 of for 265 yards, two touchdowns, and one pick, so not a horrible game for him in this one. On the ground, Austin Eckler had 57 yards on 13 carries. Also had a fumble, but luckily it was recovered by the Chargers offense. Herbert, 15 yards on two carries. Receiving-wise, Taylor Gabriel with a hell of a game, 137 yards and a touchdown on six catches. Keenan Allen had the other touchdown and 41 yards on four catches. But again, a hell of a performance by this Chargers defense. Chris Harris Jr. with 14 tackles in this one and four sacks altogether for the Chargers and Rayshon Jenkins with that clutch interception to end the final drive for Denver and a good, good performance by this defense. Drew Locke went 25 of 35 for 235 yards, a touchdown and a pick. A very costly pick at that. Melvin Gordon, 26 yards on eight carries. Phillip Lindsay, 23 yards on six carries. Receiving wise, Noah Fan had 51 yards on six catches, Melvin Gordon 52 yards on six catches, and Jarius Wright with the lone touchdown for the Broncos. And they actually played a pretty good game defensively as well. Again, this was a big defensive struggle for both teams, but in the end, the Chargers get the better half of it. And I just realized that the Broncos got Wesley Woodyard back in this franchise at least, so that's a good signing for them. A very low scoring game between these two teams, but a good win there for the Chargers. They improved to 9 and 1 on the season, while the Broncos dropped to 3 and 7. So, a pretty disappointing season for them so far. And next up, the Chargers will head over to Orchard Park, New York to battle the Buffalo Bills. And what could be a potential playoff preview, We'll just have to see. Make sure you guys smash that like button if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more of the Chargers franchise. If you love franchise and dynasty content, then Craniac Gaming is the channel for you, and you should most definitely hit that sub button and turn your notifications on to join the notification gang. And we gonna keep it rolling here on Craniac Gaming. Make sure you guys check out all the playlists listed in front of you. I've been suffering in silence, and they paid me no mind. I've been stuck inside the shadows for a really long time. It feels like they forgot about me while well, I'm here to remind you that the world is gonna hear me when it's my time to shine.